In example two, I want you to come up with the sums. Use your sum properties and formulas. It's going to help you. Try these on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. For 2a, I can break this apart into the summation from i equals 1 to 9. I'll pull the 7 out. i minus 3, the summation of 1 from i equals 1 to 9. I skipped a couple steps there, but hopefully you were able to follow along. I know that for i, I take n times n plus 1, which is 10, all over 2. Now minus 3 times n, which is 9. This gives me, let's see, get 90 divided by 2 is 45, and then 45 times 7, going to be 315, minus 3 times 9 is 27. 315 minus 27 is going to give me 288. So this process of using your properties and your formulas will make it much easier to calculate these sums than actually finding the first nine terms and adding them together. Let's look at example B. Here, our sum is going to be the summation. Well, 3 times the summation from i equals 4 to 6 of i squared. Okay, this one's a little trickier. Notice that my summation starts at i equals 4 and then ends up at 6. But there is a way for us to do this. So we're going to look up, check our formula for i squared. We get n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. So I'll write that off to the side. Is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. To figure this out, I'm actually going to rewrite the sum here from 4 to 6 as the sum from 1 to 6 minus the sum from 1 to 4. So I know that in term with all of these terms, I only want to add the terms 4, 5, and 6. So what I'm going to do instead is add all six terms together and then subtract out the terms 1 through 3. So this should be from 1 to 3. And that will equal my sum from 4 to 6. All right, now let's look at this. So I get 3 times 6 times 7 times 13 all over 6 minus 3 times and I get 3 times 4 times 7 all over 6. Because these are your n, your n plus 1, 2n plus 1 all over 6. And again, n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, all over 6. I can go through the math. Over here, my 6 is cancel. Here, 6 and 3 can reduce. And then 2 and 4 can reduce. Leaving me with 3 times 7 times 13. I get 273 minus 3 times 2 times 7 gives me 42. So my final answer is that my sum equals 273 minus 42, which is 231.